pull deck, the bicep, the rear delt, the rhomboid, the lat, everything got involved with this. What I'm doing now is a warm up. I already stretched. I just want to put more blood into these muscles and pretty much engage my muscles and get them ready for what they're about to do. It's a pull day, so I'm starting off with a lat pull down machine, specifically a machine, because with the cables and the rope, you still got to worry about your form, engage your core, and all that. So I want you all to actually stretch a little bit more than usual. As you see, I'm stretching. So I want to pull back to about my chin. Spreading out my lat, spreading out my chest. Now I'm gonna let the machine almost pull me, almost like stretch me. Pull down. Up next, guys, the roll machine. Keep it on the machine, still keep it warming up. Reset to 10, relatively lightweight. We ain't going hard yet. We just wanna warm up our muscles, let them know what's about to happen. Instead of a narrow grip, guys, I'm doing a wider one. Just so it hit the rear deltoid more. The rear deltoid doesn't really get used for me specifically a lot. So anytime I can hit the rear deltoid, I'm gonna hit it. Keeping that back straight, core engaged. Picture, just picture just your back muscles work. Just that rear delt work. Last machine to keep it warmed up, preacher curl bicep machine. Keep it simple. Like I said, when you do the pull, it's light. So it can be very relatively easy. Sometimes you just wanna be like, ah. I'm burned to it. I don't want that. Feel it. Feel your muscles getting warmed up. Engage your muscles. You can even talk to them. Biceps. You want to grow today. Back. You want to grow today. Talk to your muscles. Make love to them. Make love to them. I make love to my muscles while I work out. Man. It should be. It should be blurred out. It's a little explicit, but I make love to my muscles since I'm so fresh. I'm gonna start off with one of the hardest workouts for me in my back day, and that's laying my rows. I'm using a machine. We also got another machine right here, also laying my rows. And then right in this corner, too, guys, also laying my rows. You put a barbell right in the corner, and you wrap, you pull. Boom, boom, boom. These are all great for your whole back, wrap your whole back. But I'm Blast in this gym and have the machines with the front chest support. It's very important because then I get to press on it, really pull my shoulders back, chest out, and engage only the back. I got about five sets of this. Starting off light just so I can engage the muscle. I can feel how the workout feels, and then I can always stack up and go heavier. I just seek the chest out as much as possible, shoulders back, wide grip so I can engage that whole top back, and I already dealt. Pop up, chest up, chin up back, shoulders back, pull all the way up, squeeze, and then come down, and almost like stretch, almost, almost out my socket fill up. Pull back in, squeeze. This is how I want y'all to get you just with the machine. You don't need a lot of weight if you're doing this right, guys. Remember that. But the ego lifting up. It's engaging that back, and that rear delt, and I squeeze, or I'm just loose, and I pull. Arms are like noodles, they're just cables. I want to squeeze that back, and engage that back. Ooh. 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 good for me I get a lot of people guys when I get on these landmark roads they always want to sit there and say oh you need more weight you want you want to lift a lot of weight oh I, how much plates you need five I get on there I do my a modest one two or three it's how you manipulate the weight guys it's not about how heavy the weight is how you can manipulate these machines notice when I'm pulling my chest is up and only my back is engaging I'm not Swinging, I'm not momentum. 
just worry about that back to gate, man. What's that? 345, three plates. Keeping this modest, guys. I can lift a lot more, but we're bodybuilding. We ain't powerlifting. We're bodybuilding. I'm shaping the body to what I want it to look like. So I'm going to keep pushing blood and the muscles. I want to get bigger. Yeah. So good with me. Do the holds, guys. Do the pauses, the holds. It's gonna push more blood in that muscle. Feel it. Fall in love with the weight. Fall in love with the power. Fall in love with the blood. Fall in love with the pain. So what I do to get bigger, and it works. Push it for time. You know, it's just no ego lifting. All my videos, there's no ego lifting. What I mean by that? Don't put on a whole bunch of weight just to show off for impress. Especially the chicks. I know you see a chick and a girl in the gym, like, all right, she's gonna like this. Majority of times, they don't even know how much you lift them, man. They really don't. Well, you know what they do like? They like you working hard, grinding hard in the gym. Women love that. <laughs> They're like, oh my God, he's just so focused. <laughs> they love that. That's up, that's up. Nice quick break in between these workouts, guys. 30 seconds to 45 seconds of, of a break, and that's it. Strength tour. Keep that pump going, keep that sweat going. That was fun. I enjoyed that. So I'm doing lat pull downs, moderate grip, not too wide, not too close. Nice moderate grip, shoulder width grip. Super set in that with bicep curls. I'm telling you guys get big with moderate weight. It's about manipulation. Straight into the curl. Ah, damn. Don't try to KO me. You saw that? You got a problem, bro? Try to KO me. Big curls. Stand up curls, guys. Oh, yeah. Two. Three. Second set, guys. I'm at 115, 10 reps. <laughs> guys, once you pull down, spread that lat out. All the way up, let pull. Let it pull you up a little. Pull it back down, spread that lat out. That's how I want. I want a little bit lean back too. Don't go all the way back. Slight lean back. Have it up. Slight lean back. If you want to feel it in this lat, you want to engage that lat. That's what you really want to feel. So we set straight into the curls. After that, more curls. Keeping the weight, guys, the whole way through. We're going to feel it. 60 pounds, whatever's good for you. 10 reps. Try and keep your chest out. Just move the elbows, elbows slightly in front, all the way up to your chin. Slight bend the knees. <clears throat> mm. 
Oh, let's read these girls. So with two more of these guys, I know y'all should feel it. Like I said, select your weight. For me, I start at 100, 115, and then 130. From now on, these two, I'm going to drop it actually. But instead of 10, we do 15. Also, again, still 10 curls. You should feel it, guys. Your arm should feel it. You should be fatigued. Last set, drop all the way to 100. This is for me. Drop it to 100. So, one more. It's pretty much what you started with. 20 reps. Good form, squeezing, pushing blood. All the way up, let's stretch. I'm all the way down. Spread, spread everything out. Spread your legs out, your chest out. Fill that shit with blood. And on the last curls, I want 10 again. Another superset. Certain times I superset, guys. Certain times I don't. Superset is good because you can make use of the time, right? But sometimes it's good to just concentrate on one workout. Give you all. But this time I'm super setting. Got somewhere to be. It's Halloween, so I got some candy. Halloween was two days ago, so I got, I got some candy. So I'm going to get to that. <laughs> I'm doing bent over, standing bent over rows. Keep that chest out, back, toes back. Let's do underhand, guys. Underhand. Underhand is going to hit the lat and it's going to hit the bottom. Super setting that width. Once again, bend over, word dealt five. Boom. Boom. With these two guys, I would say use a belt. Just to give your lower back some more support. Belt is good. This is a lot bent over. This is a lot of weight. So belt is just gonna give you more support in your core and your lower back that's gonna need. Especially on back day. Keep your back healthy. Work smarter, not harder. A little wider grip, bent over. Back straight, chest out. I'm just pulling to almost my belly button. Elbows in. Uh, uh. It says it's a relatively lightweight for me. So I'm do something that's challenging for you guys. Five sets of ten. Just shoot a set. Ooh, a good pause too. Get that blood pump. Bent over, chest out. So five sets of this guy's my second set. I'm gonna keep the same weight. Cause frankly, it was light, but I didn't feel the things I wanted to feel engaging. So I'm going to do the same way and make sure this time I'm going to feel everything engaged. The lat, the whole back I want to feel engaged and a little bit of the bias. So I'm going to keep the same weight. Once I'm done with that, I will increase the weight. So the rear delt, I will keep the same weight. It's already been engaging with these heavy lifts. So now with the flies, I just want to scope the rear delt. Sometimes it's not about getting big, it's about getting cut. So if I cut and define that rear delt, it's going to pop, man. It's going to pop. So this is what I'm doing with these very dope flies. Am I going heavy? He already went heavy. So I just want to cut, mold, define, body build. out, the form back straight, back parallel to the ground, oh, straight back, just cage, those rear delts, so next I'll do 90, that'll be my third set, the next one will be 100, that'll be my fourth set, and the last one I wouldn't burn out, so I would drop back to 80, I like to drop so I start off with just to confuse that muscle and do those reps properly. 
hold with them. With that lactic acid still in the muscle. The muscle will build. The back will be built. So you're working harder. Form. Time under tension. Controlling your eccentrics. Controlling your concentrics. Holding. Muscle memory. These things get your muscle bigger. Not heavy weight. Not worry about heavy weight and throwing it with jacked up form. Up next, bicep curls. So I like to do mine differently. I'm really, I'm a big stickler for form. And when I tend to do curls, a lot of workouts, these big, these traps guys, they want to take over. My whole back and trap can take over every single workout. So I work out specifically with form in mind. Okay? So right here I got curls. Looks like a preacher curl. Just using one arm with this. I want to focus strictly on that one arm getting work done versus the two-handed curls with one arm. So I want to elevate the bench just a little bit. Have one arm down with the weight. 25 is moderate light. Not worry about weight with this. We'll worry about form and focusing on that bicep. So with that chest out, arm down. Wrist out, I want to curl, boom, and twist at the top. Curl, boom, twist at the top. Uh, this is just 25 pounds, and you do this at this cadence, at this great speed, nice and slow, and a nice squeeze at the top. Bicep is gonna grow, guys. I could do this with 15 pounds feel damn good pump and work out from this. As you see guys, with me leaning over, nothing else can get involved. Just the buy. The buy is forced to work. The trap can't work. The back can't work. Just the buy. Just that arm. 10 times each arm. They love that buy. Elbows out a little bit too, guys. Now, five sets of I want you going in increments of five pounds up. So, as for example, 25, my next set will be 30. The third set will be 35. That's going to be a tough one, guys. Especially if you're focusing and holding it and slowing it down, that 35 is going to feel like hell. After that 35, after that next week, when you're feeling it, I want you to start going down. For example, I had 35, my third set, my fourth set. That will be 30. Right? Still 10 reps. Still want to be 10. It should be easier. Going down. Last one, 25 again. Right where I started. 25 pounds. 10-10. That should be the hardest set you do. That last one, 10 times with 25s, that's the one where the muscle breaks and you get bigger muscle. Because you, you, your biceps ain't used to it. It's like, okay, we're going up, and then we're dropping down. I'm confused. I have to break. I have to adapt. Guys, I'm here for y'all. Leave in the comments what you want to know. Let's get it.